This is how to play like Yunus Musa. First situation I want to put you in, you're facing your own goalkeeper and you're receiving the ball with a defender on your back. So what's going through your mind? Like, I'll, I'll play the defender for a second here. So even before you receive the ball, yeah, like, exactly. what do you think? I need to know that you're there. Okay. And I need to know how much space you're giving me as well. Okay. So um, if, the if the keepers give it to me and you're there, I can, I can take two touches. But if you're closer to me, okay. so you're, as the ball's coming, you're coming like closer. Yeah. And I, I have to be thinking, I have to play one touch okay. to one of my centre backs, the keeper, something like that. Yeah. Pretty much. So you always have to be aware of the distance, so you can take a touch and play forward, or whether you have to pick, quickly play one touch. Okay. Otherwise, you know, you'll get the ball. And <laughs> so in that position, you're constantly checking your shoulder, obviously, yeah. just to see. And if you feel the defender like close like this, it's always one yeah. touch back. One touch, or make sure you're. If you want to take two touches, you know where which side it is. Don't take a, don't don't turn into him. And no, so you take a touch away and then play or something. So if you can feel me on your back like this, yeah, yeah. I'll, like, I'll you know normally can... normally I play one touch. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. that's the safest option. Okay, okay. Second situation I want to put you in. You've received the ball. You're turned facing upfield, and I know that you're like super good at like breaking defensive lines and stuff. So like, if you're facing me up, I'm the defender. You got a bit more space. Like, what are you thinking? What's, where's your first touch going? Like, how are you trying to like move me? If I have a lot of space behind, I would normally drive with it. Um, but if I see that you're covered with a lot of of your teammates, I'm generally gonna try and get a pass before you get too close. You know, because when you get too close. I'll get stuck because I won't be able to dribble anywhere because there's people right there. So I need to think, as you're coming, who can I give it to? And, but yeah, if you, if you give me the space and the space behind you, I'm going to come, commit you, and then just do my thing. <laughs> do the little yeah. drop of the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's all about pace, because right? yeah. uh, you're a quick player, so you can get away from them easily. Yeah. Third scenario I'm going to put you in now. So let's say I've got the ball and I'm like, yeah, maybe here on the field and you're defending me. So I'm trying to go around you. Like, what are you thinking as a defender, first of all? Like, yeah, so firstly, obviously, as we're near the goal, I don't want to give you too much space because you might be a quality player that can shoot well and everything. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to start getting to you and just be hard to beat, you know? Or well, something I've learned is that obviously, touching the person puts them off balance and stuff and it's not a foul. Yeah. So, they try to go that way. I'll try and touch you, okay, yeah. and not just not just go for the ball, because that, that's easy for you. I'll touch you and go for the ball, okay. so it makes yeah. you go off balance. You like it's gonna be hard for you to control the ball like that. Yeah. So that, that's what I do. Like make sure I'm hard to beat, and I make sure I'm touching him. I'm touching him. I'm making him uncomfortable. You think that like maybe panics the player a little bit as well when for they sure, feel sure. like they don't like it. it's, yeah. it's uncomfortable. So. Yeah. Okay. So nice and tight. And what about like? Are we looking at like a low body position kind for of sure, thing? For sure. like, and trying to show them like yeah. in one direction? Yeah. No, no. Like as an attacker, I I want the defender to commit, right? Yeah. So I'm not gonna when you're attacking me, I'm not gonna commit. You I'm gonna make you choose where to go. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go into an attacking scenario now. For example, you you're on the ball, maybe you're like looking at the goal, like have these kind of options here. What are you thinking with the ball? Are you, are you playing wide here or are you shooting? Here it becomes a bit tricky because you have, you might have a teammate quickly making a run and you quickly have to spot it and at the same time choose what kind of pass are you going to give him? Are you going to have to chip it behind the defence? Do you have to slide it in? Do you have to slide it there? Or sometimes the striker might make a run, takes the defender away, so you go the other way yourself and shoot because the strikes cut like that an unselfish run. So make, make it space for you. So yeah, you have to think fast in this situation because otherwise all the other guys are coming back and it's going to be much harder to beat. So you're looking for cues from your players but also the defensive players to, yeah, yeah. to make the decision for you. Yeah. Okay, cool. And finally, I'm going to put you in like a goal scoring situation now. So 
let's say one of your teammates has made it to the byline yeah. and he's like about to he's looking for like a cutback type thing so you're maybe on the edge of the d what run are you looking to make you have like minimum two center backs and a fullback that are there okay and then the at least one midfielder right so you're trying to the the place where you can score goals most is coming in here so you have to try and get in the box personally instead of standing out here and then get in the box get in the box and then like maybe do a run like like this or front to back so that you take uh you take the defender away if you make just a straight run I, i'm just standing still and i'll block you so you have to make like take him away so you sometimes you see like strikers might go like this come like and then it's just dead boom yeah. nice so, okay okay and then on the finishing side what are you looking to do when you're picking your spot on in the goal so if it's a cutback yeah uh, like from, for me, it's comfortable this position to go front post. Front post, yeah. But if if I see the keeper that is blocking front post, I go front post. So yeah, look at look at the keeper as well. Okay, right. checking. The Whether it's in the corner of your eye or fully, look at the keeper. That will help. Just and I obviously keep it low. <laughs> keep it low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the hardest thing for a cutback, yeah. right? Yeah, it's yeah. Exactly. Like it's easy to yeah. boom. So Sky. body over, keep it low. Yeah. yeah. So those were five tips from Eunice Musa. Hope you guys learned something. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.